Well, you guys, this video has been brought to you by Digilavity Software, and we're going to take a look at their software called VideoProc. This is a one stop video processing software which allows you to edit, convert, resize, and adjust 4K videos. It also has a screen capturing uh, software on here which will allow you to capture and record the screen and webcam, which is a really nice, useful feature to have if you like creating uh, tutorials like I do. So let's go ahead and download this and get it installed on the system so we can take a full look at what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and install this. I've already got it downloaded and click on the install. It doesn't take too long to download and install. OK, so let's launch the uh, program here. And this is the user interface. It's very simple and easy to use. You've got four buttons, which is for video here, which allows you to do all your video processing. And also you've got your DVD uh, conversion and backup section and your downloader for uh, your video streams. And you also have the recorder here, which is great for capturing your desktop, which allows you to capture webcam and your desktop feed. Let's move up to the top right hand side uh, on the settings cog here. You can see we've got some features here like settings, um, language, register, check for updates, about and help. Let's go into the settings pane here. Inside the settings, you can see we've got some features on the left hand side and some buttons, which are general video, DVD, downloader and recorder. Under the general section, you've got your hardware acceleration engine, which is really useful to have, which supports NVIDIA, uh, Intel and AMD. And uh, all you need to do there is have that ticked and go into your options and set that up. If you're on a virtual machine, it won't detect any of those because obviously you've not got a standalone graphics card. But basically, it will utilize that feature, which is very useful because it will speed up your processing as well. Now you've got also some areas here which are for your video, your, your DVD and your download and recorder, which is your de destination where you want to save your uh, media, which you've uh, been working on. You can see it's uh, defaulted to those locations, but you can change it to another drive. So on the uh, DVD section, it's pretty much the same as all the other ones here. The only one that's different is the recorder, which gives you some uh, settings which you can change for your recorder which uh, you can see here, the recording quality is set to standard by default. And you can change this to high, depending on whether your PC can handle that. And also recording format, which means you've got a bunch of flavors here, which you can change it to your desk audio level and your uh, mic audio level. And you've also got your encoder here. Now the encoder is your software X264, or you can change it to a lower CPU version if it's too much for your system. You've also got remove background uh, for your webcam, which is like your green screen area, which is pretty useful, and your show mouse in recording and show mouse clicks in recording, which is very useful for tutorial based videos or screen captures like I do, which is very useful. And it all comes in this one piece of software, which is very useful uh, for people that want to get a few uh, different bits of software all in one. So moving on back to the main menu, we've got video, DVD, download and recorder. We're going to go into video. And as you can see here, this is the video section where you can um, edit and change all your videos. So you can do 4K videos in here if you wish. You've got your buttons up the top here, which is your back video, uh, video folder, music and clear. And also down the bottom, you've got your targeted format. And this is going to allow you to change your targeted format to whatever you want to, whether it be MP4 or you've got your iPhone, Android, MP4 and other 4K type ones there as well. And there's a bunch of other stuff inside here. When you click on the plus sign, this will take you into uh, the added general profiles, which you can then change to the required one that you want, like Apple devices, a Huawei devices, Samsung devices, Android pad and also Android mobile. You can see here Microsoft device, YouTube videos and a bunch of other ones in there as well. And this will allow you to change it to whatever you like, uh, high quality or low quality or in the middle, depending on what your system can handle. You've got the little slider bar there, which you can change to whatever you want uh, that suits your uh, needs. So let's come out of here and go back. There's just one more little area I wanted to take a look at here before we edit some videos is down the bottom. We're under popular, but we do have an area called video. 
and this will allow you to change some other bits here uh, for your different formats you can see AVI and uh, WMV and so on you've got your devices and then you've got your music here for your different music types and your toolbox which gives you a bunch of other things in here which you can trim split uh, rotate and so on um, inside here there's loads of features inside here I'm not going to go through them all uh, but you can see them all listed on the screen there now you've got some little uh, area on the side a little display window and a bunch of other settings which you can mess with as well so let's go ahead and try to get a video in here so we can see uh, what it looks like when we get a video imported into uh, the software itself so I'm going to go and load one in here you can click on the video plus button up the top uh, or you can just drag it into there it's entirely up to you but let's browse to a video file that I've got here just to show you so we can load this up and again this will load the uh, video into here and it gives you all the information about that video and you can see it's a 1080p video it gives you the ability to uh, use the effects tab here which will allow you to put on effects onto the video and this will give you a bunch of presets here which you can change and you can see here on the it gives you the display for the video and uh, the preview which is what you're editing there you can see you can make your changes by just adding in some filters on here you've got tinted edge emboss vintage and a bunch of other ones on here like vignette uh, mirror so a very very powerful piece of software here and uh, to change these you would just click on them and it would change the uh, feature onto the video there and you can preview it and have a look and see whether you like it you can turn it off as well uh, if you want to by clicking on the none section but let's just take a quick look at the grayscale here if I click on the grayscale here you should see it change there we go so that's basically what you do there and you can take that off by uh, clicking on the none and it will then remove that from uh, the preview window uh, like so there we go and also we do have some other effects here which we've got audio and video uh, as well which allows you to rotate left right horizontal and you can make a bunch of other uh, settings there like speed you can add in subtitles here as well so you can get those off the internet and add subtitles to your uh, videos and stuff like that you've got your cut and crop as well if you want to use those features you just literally uh, enable those and the crop allow you to enable crop as well so you can crop your video down if you wish uh, to do so like so it's very simple and uh, all you need to do is just crop that down to where you want I'm going to turn that feature off and the cut would be the same process really you can cut bits out and you can go to the edit tab on the right there now we've also got watermark here where it means uh, you can add in your watermark like a logo or something like that or some sort of copyright uh, watermark you can change the names and tags on here and edit all your video uh, details inside here you can put comment in there and also there's some other formats that you may want to make changes to at the last minute which is uh, the quality which will be high default or fast and slow you can see and there's a bunch of other stuff inside here which you can mess with as well uh, audio codec is AAC and that's basically the video section let me just come out of here and we can move on to uh, another section here so you can take a closer look at those uh, the DVD section is going to allow you to obviously uh, create your own videos from DVD so if you click on this here you will need to have uh, I, a DVD ROM player or you can have the content in a folder or an ISO uh, but basically you just click on the disk and this will ask you whether you want to copy that content from the disk whether that be a movie or music or something like that you can see here uh, there's no disk drive uh, detected and that's because we don't have one in this system but you may be thinking well if I don't have a disk I can't use this feature well you can you can actually use the folder feature which allows you to navigate to a folder with that content in there and that will then allow you to uh, use that sort of content to create your own stuff so that's pretty much how you can use that feature there and also you've got an ISO uh, feature here which allows you to copy the content from an ISO image as well just browse for the ISO and away you go 
So let's move on into the targeted format area here. You can see you can choose whatever format you want here. And there's a bunch of them inside here. If you want to see more, just click on the plus sign and it will take you into add a general profile. And this will allow you to add a general profile. If you go into DVD backup here, this will give you a bunch of uh, profiles which you can use here, which are say copy full title to MKV. And you can change the fast to slow, high quality to low quality, clone DVD to video underscore TS folder. And there's a bunch of other stuff inside here which you can uh, do like clone DVD to ISO image and so on. You can come down as well uh, to uh, DVD profile and you've also got your HD video, a bunch of other presets in here which you can use and change to your liking. Uh, so let's move on to another section here like the recorder because I think this is quite useful. Now if you're a content creator like myself you can use this recorder to record your desktop screen and your audio and your mouse clicks and stuff like that. So it's very, very useful. And uh, you can even uh, capture your webcam as well. So you can see here, it's a very simple layout. You've got screen, webcam, screen and webcam, which means you can put your webcam on there. So maybe if you're a gamer and you want to uh, capture that stream there uh, with your webcam and yourself on there, you can do that. You also got your downloader here, which is gonna allow you to download uh, video streams, add video, add music, and uh, clear uh, completed tasks and so on. But you can uh, do that as well with this piece of software. So it's an awesome piece of software that has quite a lot of features uh, built into it. But all in all, it's a pretty easy piece of software to use. As you can see here, I've never used this before and I'm just using it for the first time myself and it's pretty straightforward. But you've got some really good features here like the downloader, recorder, DVD and video. I really do like the features on this piece of software. And uh, this video has been sponsored by Digiarity uh, Software. And uh, you can get it at videoproc.com. And I'll leave all the information in the video description for you. Anyway, that's pretty much it. This is just a quick overview of the Videoproc software. Uh, if you enjoy it, then also give the video a thumbs up and I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Have a great day. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.